All right, so you're considering the DJI Osmo 3 and you wanted to know whether it's worthwhile because right now you're watching a brand new Hero 11, but here in front of me is the original Osmo 1. The Osmo 2 absolutely sucked, so we won't discuss that. And here is the Osmo 3. Let's talk about some of the basics, then I'm gonna line them all up back there so you could see all three images and kind of just compare them directly. And then we're gonna put them on the RC cars and see just how tough they are and you can make a decision upon which video image quality you like, which one you prefer. Let's talk about the physical structure of it. Here you can see this is the Osmo 1, this is the new Action 3. It is considerably larger. You can see how much larger the actual uh, lens is. The front screen is much larger, the rear screen is much larger. Significantly heavier also, but not a heavyweight. Like I believe my, I didn't weigh them, but I just say the new GoPro is definitely heavier and a little bit larger. So some key features, like we were discussing, it has this new fangled removable mount where it just, it's magnetic and clip, clips on all at the same time. Look at that. How cool is that? It is a little creepy how cool that is. I am not so sure. I mean, it seems rock solid and I'm sure DJI wouldn't send this out unless it was rock solid. Speaking of rock solid, that's the name of their image stabilization. We're gonna test it out, see if it survives. In with this kit comes this housing, which is absolutely enormous, but I guess it has to be. This housing in particular allows you to mount the mount so you could do vertical video, which is a cool option there. It also comes with this cool selfie stick, which I know this looks like a plain old selfie stick until you go like that. Oh, look at that. Look at how long, this is a legit five foot long selfie stick. Feels nice and smooth, feels really cool. I like that a lot. Comes with one stick on mount. Check out the battery case. How cool is this case? Comes with three batteries. You ch goes in this case, you can charge them all at one time. Really cool. Let me line up the three cameras so that we can compare the images and we'll talk about the actual features and then we'll go see what we can break. Okay, so here we are. It's very interesting, the different looks of these different cameras. We have the Hero 10. As only the GoPro runs in 5K, I've lowered it down to 4K. They are all at 4K 30, so you can compare kind of even Steven. The GoPro is in linear mode. The brand new Osmo 3 Action is in their de-warp mode, which I thought would be the most reasonable comparison to linear. Now you can see the basics of what the different image quality looks like. What we're gonna do tomorrow is we're gonna take them out and beat them up on the RC cars and see what that looks like so you can compare. But let's talk about the actual features of the new Osmo 3 Action camera. Number one, as discussed, 4K up to 120 frames per second, which is just ridiculous. It has that cool new mount that I showed you earlier, um, which is just so neat the way that works. I, I just am not comfortable with it yet, but I'm gonna have faith in it. I'm gonna say they didn't give me something that's gonna self-destruct. So let's try it and use it tomorrow, see if we can break it. So in addition to the de-warp setting that it has, we'll try this on the RC car, it has a super ultra wide setting, which should look really cool, especially with those action shots. So the camera has their new Rocksteady 3.0, which is supposed to be amazing in-camera image stabilization. And it also has horizon lock, which uh, will allow you to make it so uh, just extra keeps that horizon stable, not, not moving at all. We're gonna test that out in the RC cars. Let's talk about the battery and record time and overheating in those issues, which is obviously an issue with the GoPro. But with this new Osmo, you're supposed to be able to go 4K 60 for 90 minutes and not have it overheat, which is pretty amazing. So the camera itself is waterproof to 16 meters, which is pretty impressive. Not good enough for diving without a housing, but certainly for any basic snorkeling, that's gonna be great. While we're talking water, there's supposed to be an automatic color sensor. If you're used to diving and using these action cams, you have to put filters on them to get the right colors. This is supposed to detect and adjust to the color uh, while you're actually using it, which should be pretty cool to see. And the screens are actually supposed to work, the touch screens are supposed to work even when your hands are wet and the screens are wet, which if you've ever tried this before, it can be a little difficult. You sit there, not supposed to be an issue anymore. Okay, I'm gonna take apart this big crazy 
rig I just built. Oh, but wait, if you wouldn't mind, I did all this work for you, maybe one of these down below, that would be really helpful. But let's take it all apart and let's go play with that RC car, see what that video looks like. For this test, I've moved them all to 1080 at 120 frames per second. This is obviously, we might as well start with the DJI Osmo 3 with rock steady engaged. There are links below for all these cameras, so it really helps the channel out. If you're gonna check it out, please use those. I gotta say, I think this looks pretty amazing, especially when you go to do that U-turn, the um, rock steady really keeps it stable up off the grass, over the curb, still stable. So instead of kicking the DJI Osmo 1 while it's down, obviously we got the 3 out, so that's not fair. I thought it'd be fun to include one of those kind of generic brands from Amazon. This is the Acaso Brave 4, which I think doesn't have image stabilization, but is really great quality in a relative sense for what it costs. Again, the link's below if you want to go check that out, but I think dollar for donuts, it's pretty good. Obviously not the same at all, but Really pretty good. Okay, so this is the Hero 10 on the RC because I didn't want to sacrifice my Hero 11 because from time to time, I do uh, exceed the limits of physics like that. So here is what the 10 looked like with image stabilization so you can compare. Look, I know you're mostly concerned about the DJI, so I thought I would flip back to this and really test that image stabilization, which I have to say is pretty darn ridiculous. When you say this thing is pretty freaking awesome, I'm having a ton of fun, and this RC car actually is a lot of fun too. I can't believe it's going through this grass. But all right, let's check out some slow motion. Look, so I thought I'd start out with the cheapest and maybe the most overachieving camera, that Acaso Brave 4, just for comparison's sake. Just for clarity, I have not done any color grading or anything like this. This is straight out of the camera. This is the GoPro Hero 10. And finally, here we go. This is the Osmo Action 3 in slow motion, which I think looks pretty darn amazing. Also, again, nothing has been edited, just slowed down. Hey, let's go talk about them overall. Do you see how dirty and banged up and mashed up this thing is? This is its natural state, right? This is how you want to use your DJI Action Cam. You've watched a ton of video comparing it between the GoPro and one of those Amazon brands. And this thing has, really impressed me in how well it works. You've seen the video itself. I will say uh, one of the key things which I really do appreciate about it is the battery life is awesome on it. Obviously the image quality and stabilization is cool. I find the menus and the way it works, the touch screens all to be outstanding. I, don't, I have no problems with this whatsoever so far. I am just thrilled. I will come back again and give you more of a long-term test down the road, but for now, initially, this DJI Osmo Action 3 is absolutely a three out of three on the Doug score. Normally it's a five out of five, but because it's an Action 3, we're making it three out of three on the Doug score this time. I hope that was helpful. We'll see you next time.